Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Mystical Agriculture in Minecraft 1.15.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Mystical Agriculture from downloading it to installing it to making sure we get this library mod here and have that installed to make sure it works. All that is going to be covered in this video. First and foremost though we do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft. So you can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24 hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. It can be running. Forge 1.15.2, or it can be running Bucket, Spigot, Vanilla Minecraft, anything you want your server to be running, you can do it with Apex Minecraft hosting. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. So, what is Mystical Agriculture? Well, it's kind of a cool agriculture-based mod, and as you can see, resource crops for tons of materials, so it has all sorts of different resource crops in here, vanilla resources, and it even works with things like Bombs of Plenty and other mods here. And then on top of that, we have five different tiers of armors and tools, which is cool. And then some other fun stuff that's in here. So overall, a pretty cool mod and something I'm glad is updated to 1.15.2. Seems like 1.15 is going to be a really good mod version of Minecraft. But to download this mod, you want to go to the second link down below. It's going to take you to this page. And then on the right-hand side of the screen, you just want to scroll down until you see this Minecraft 1.15 section. And then under that, we do have Mystical Agriculture. And as you can see, it does say 1.15.2 there in the like version title. Awesome, that's the one we want, so we're going to get through that purple download button to the right of it. Then it's going to take us off to this page where after five seconds our download will begin automatically. It's going to start the download in the bottom left. There we go. As you can see, this file may harm your computer. It's not going to harm your computer. In the bottom left, we need to keep this file. As you can see, it says Mystical Agriculture in the title, so it's 100% safe to keep. Now, we also need to download the Cucumber Library. Uh, this is basically just a compatibility mod for this, uh, for, for, for this mod here. Hold on, for some reason it was on the wrong page. Give me one quick second. There we go, we are now on the Cucumber Library download page. This is the page it'll take you to in the description down below. I just uh, didn't go off that page for my testing before the video. Believe it or not, I test all these before the video. Anyway, long story short is, Cucumber Library here is what we're going to need to download in order to make sure basically all of the things in Mystical Agriculture work. So to download this, you can go to the third link in the description down below. It's going to take you here, where you just want to come over to the right-hand side, and again, on the 1.15 section. And then under that, you will see cucumber-1.15.2. That's what we want to download. Just click on that purple download button to the right of it. It'll then take us off to this download page that we actually just saw, but we have to take five seconds here, and then after five seconds, your download will begin in the bottom left. Now, as you can see, it's going to require you to keep the file as well. You're going to go ahead and keep this file as long as it says Cucumber in the title. Ours does say keep. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's going to ask you to save in the screen of your screen. You're going to save it as long as Cucumber is in the title. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Luckily, we have a link in the description down below that will take you here. This is actually our text tutorial on installing Forge. I'm going to go through it all in this video, but if I do go too fast or anything like that, this tutorial can slow it down for you and you can go at your own pace. Oh, look at that. My mouse battery is dying. Stupid mouse. What are you doing? But nevertheless, let's go ahead and once you're here, click on this green download Forge button there. When you click on that green download Forge button, it's going to take you off to Forge's official website where we need to make sure this is a Minecraft 1.15.2 version. To do that, you will see MC 1.15.2 here. If it doesn't say MC 1.15.2 there, no worries. Click on 1.15 on the left hand sidebar over here and then click on 1.15.2. That will take you here. This is basically the download screen for Minecraft 1.15.2. And when you're here under download recommended, click on the install button. So under download recommended, click on the installer button there. Then we'll take us off to add focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page. Not a thing. Don't move a muscle. Don't click anything. Stop. Nope. Your download is not ready. It's lying to you. You need to wait five seconds. And then in the top right up here, the top right of your screen, you will see a red skip button appear. Click on that red skip button. And in the bottom left, you will see basically forge download. Now you will need to keep this file and it's 100% safe to keep it as long as it says forge in the title. Ours does. So we can go ahead and click keep there. If yours doesn't, you accidentally clicked on this download button in the super screen. No worries, just don't save the file and then click that red skip button and you'll be good to go. On Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the super screen. Same thing, it's safe to save as long as it says forge in the title. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser here. On our desktop, we have Mystical Agriculture, the Cucumber Library, and Forge. We also have these three like unconfirmed files. That's just from where this is downloading. Those will disappear in a bit, basically. I'm just going to drag them off the screen, and they'll disappear by the time I'm ready to use these files. Because if these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be in your downloads folder. Click on the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. You'll then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you will find Mystical Agriculture, Forge, and the Cucumber Library. Drag those to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we need to install Forge first. To do this, go ahead and right click on Forge. And then click on open with and then go ahead and click on java tm platform se binary so again right click on forge 
click on open with, and then click on Java TM platform SE binary. Now what if you don't have Java TM platform SE binary? Or what if you do and it doesn't work when you click OK? Or what if these don't even look like this and they look like zip files or book files or you know .rar files, something like that? What do you do? Well, no worries. Simply go to the description down below and it'll go to this. This is our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It goes, it goes over everything you need to know to get Java and make sure you get the correct version of Java for Minecraft 1.15.2 mods. However, if you go through this tutorial and for whatever reason, it still can't work. It still doesn't work. No worries. We have the jar fix also linked in the description down below. And what this is going to do is make all the jar files in your computer work with Java once again, basically link them together and make them all work together. So awesome stuff there. Now we can finally minimize our browser, right click on forge, click on open with, click on Java TM platform SE binary and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where we want to click on install client and click OK. It's then going to go run through, download some things, do some stuff, all that stuff, and then eventually it is going to be done and it's going to say successfully install client profile forge. There it is, successfully install client profile forge for version 1.15.2. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK. Now what we want to do is go ahead and get Mystical Agriculture and the Cucumber Library installed. To do this, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. And then from the Minecraft Launcher, we want to click in the bottom left down here. See this little arrow? Click on that and you should have a Forge profile. If you do, click on it and click play. But what if you don't have a Forge profile? Well, no worries. Click on the Installations tab on the top of Minecraft here. And then you want to go ahead and click on the Plus New button up here on the top left. Then you can name this whatever you want. You want to do Play. I'm going to do play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible network Minecraft server. We have two Grief Protective Survival servers, Medieval Survival with 30 custom quests and a player-based economy, Aquatic Survival with a slash shop-based economy, MCMO, and just tons of awesome other stuff over there. And then we do have Custom Skyblock as well, which has OP enchants, custom islands, awesome challenges. It's an incredible time. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Then you want to click on the drop-down box here under version. So if I click on that, you're going to have Forge here, release 1.15.2-Forge specifically. If you have multiple ones like I do, just click the one that's closest to the top and then you'll be good. I'm going to also change my resolution just so you all can see once we get in game. And then we can click create in the bottom right. Now at the bottom, we'll have this new profile that we created. Mine, as you can see, has 1.15.2-Forge in it. Then we can go ahead and click the green play button to the right of that. It's then going to go through, do everything that it needs to do, put everything together, link it all together, and then it will open up. Minecraft so pretty awesome stuff and basically this is opening up Minecraft with Forge and then we'll be we'll be good to go like we'll be we'll be done so Minecraft opens up with Forge here waiting for it waiting for it waiting for it and we'll finally be able to install our mods so once we're on the Minecraft main menu what we need to do from the Minecraft main menu here is click on the mods tab then we want to click on the open mods folder in the bottom left and then once we've opened the mods folder, it looks like this. We want to take Mystical Agriculture and the Cucumber Library and drag them into the mods folder, right? Cucumber Library, Mystical Agriculture, take, drag, and drop them into the mod folder. Then once those are in the mods folder, we can close out of it. Oh, I accidentally maximized it. We can close out of it, and then you'll see that they're here, but they're not. That's because we need to restart Minecraft. So as you can see, we can go ahead and click Done, click Quick Game, and then open up the Minecraft Launcher again. Confirm that we have the Forge profile selected or a Forge profile that we created. To do this, you'll see 1.15.2-Forge under the basically title. Click play there, and now it's going to open up Minecraft 1.15.2 with Mystical Agriculture and the Cucumber Library installed. We can actually see them here. As you can see, Cucumber and Mystical Agriculture both completed the deep scan. Basically means recognize the mods kind of went through and said, hey, these are here. We should activate these. We're going to activate them. And that's what it did. So now Minecraft is launching with those mods installed. Pretty simple and pretty easy stuff. I will go ahead and jump in game as well to show you the Mystical Agriculture mod in game. It's because it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool mod. So I'm going to show it to you in game. So I'm going to create a new world here. You don't necessarily have to create a new world for this, but um, you know, if you launch Mystical Agriculture on a world, you need to keep it on that world because it's going to generate blocks and do all sorts of stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead, let this generate. I will see you after a quick little jump cut and uh, we'll be done. So here we are in game and, um, you know, we can look around for Mystical Agriculture stuff if we want to, but we do have to find like a biome that that stuff is going to spawn in. The best thing we can do though is actually just hit E here, click over and here are all the Mystical Agriculture things that are added in. For example, infusion pedestals and all these different ingots and nuggets and all sorts of stuff like that. And it's all here. And specifically like the seeds, right? Iron seeds, for example, can be planted. Not right here. You need to till the ground and everything, but they're there. And that's what's really cool. And that's what I like Mystical Agriculture for. It allows a different way of getting ores in Minecraft. No longer do you have to go mining. You still can, but you can also grow your ores, which is so cool. It makes this a really, really cool mod for like Skyblock and things like that because so many mods do require 
like or so many like sky blocks are kind of difficult to get stuff in and with this you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about mining you can grow your ores which is really cool i've actually seen skyblocks use this in the past and um you know do some pretty cool stuff of like unlocking this so yeah what is this different hose that you can get pretty cool but i'm pretty sure we can plant this if we just do this right here and then plant yep there we go we can and i even think you can bone mill these which is cool so let's go ahead grab ourselves some bone meal there and bone meal that see if it'll bone meal that doesn't look like it is no problem whatsoever that will grow though over time nevertheless there you all have it if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below enjoy mystical agriculture in minecraft 1.15.2 if you don't have any questions about you know mystical agriculture like i said i've already said that anyway come play with us on the best network minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com i cannot wait to see you online my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i am out peace